am part of a, a writing team with my wife, Nina. And 12 years ago, uh, we looked around and we saw, you know, there just isn't a Lincoln movie. Uh, Nina has been a lifelong Lincoln buff. It started when she was eight years old. She found a book of Lincoln jokes on her parents' shelf, and she was just amazed by that, you know. Lincoln is this serious guy on the penny, on the $5 bill, on Mount Rushmore, this icon. And how could he have his own joke book? It, it, it just struck her, even as an eight-year-old, that there's a contradiction there, and it started a lifelong fascination for her. Uh, for me, I always identified with Abraham Lincoln because well, because I'm an outsider, I'm a foreigner. I was born in Chile, uh, you know, I was just too tall, too skinny. You wouldn't know it now, but I used to have a huge red afro, and I was a funny looking kid. Um, and, you know, and, and, and here was Lincoln, he, he was also this outsider to the establishment who experienced failure many times in his life. and just never gave up, always had tremendous and steely determination, and, and I admired him for that. Uh, he's the second most written about human being. It's something like 16,000 Lincoln books, and we didn't read all of them, but we read as many as we could. It was a tremendous amount of research. We found an angle, uh, we wrote that script, we wrote many drafts, and after two years of solid work, is we heard the announcement that Steven Spielberg is making a Lincoln movie, Tom Hanks will play Lincoln, and um, at that moment our project died. It was just completely non-viable uh, to go around Hollywood saying you want to make a Lincoln movie when Steven Spielberg is making one. At first, I mean, it, listen, they wouldn't even read the script. I mean, that's the thing. It, it's not that the script was good or bad, you know, just no one would even look at it. Uh, and when and I said, but 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 he's not making his Lincoln movie, and we've got a great approach, and there hasn't been a movie telling the story of Abraham Lincoln leading the nation through the Civil War in eight decades. It hasn't been done since D.W. Griffith did it in 1930. What happened was we came back. We said, hey, you know what? He's not making his movie. We're going to make ours, and we're going to we're independent filmmakers, and we're going to find an independent way to make our film. Now, and when we went back into our research, looking for a human and emotional point of view, right away Ward Hill Lamb had jumped off the page to us. He was Lincoln's closest friend in Washington. He appointed himself Lincoln's bodyguard. He only came as the entourage, really as the buddy, because he played banjo and made Lincoln laugh. But we were looking for a way to tell an epic Lincoln story on an independent budget.